Let's review the cosine addition formulas and the sine addition formulas. By cosine addition formulas, I mean both the cosine of a sum and the cosine of a difference. And remember that for both of these, it's cosine, cosine, sine, sine. Cosine alpha, cosine beta, sine alpha, sine beta. With the cosine of a sum, you change the sign. With cosine, you always change sign. Think C stands for change. Again, cosine, cosine, sine, sine. The minus becomes plus. Now for the sine addition formulas, it's sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So sine alpha, cosine beta, that's beta, cosine alpha, sine beta. And the sine stays the same. Think S for the same. Plus sine alpha, cosine beta, cosine alpha, sine beta. Minus stays minus. So these are the cosine addition formulas and the sine addition formulas. And what's really neat about these is in addition to being able to calculate exact values of, some, of certain special angles, um, we can use these to prove identities. And I'm going to start with the co-function identities for an example. Now, you probably already know these identities, but it's great to help you remember them uh, to be able to prove them using the sine addition or, or subtraction formulas. So the sine of pi over 2 minus theta, this is, this is going to give us a co-function identity. Let's use the sine of a difference formula. It's sine cosine, sine pi over 2, cosine theta, cosine sine, cosine pi over 2, sine theta. And because it's minus and sine stays the same, we have a minus. Now, sine pi over 2 is 1 times cosine theta. Cosine pi over 2 is 0. 0 times sine theta. So this just becomes cosine theta. And that's the formula we remember. Sine of pi over 2 minus theta equals cosine theta. Likewise, there's cosine pi over 2 minus theta. The cosine of a difference formula is what we need here. And the cosine of a difference formula goes cosine, cosine, sine, sine. Cosine pi over 2, cosine theta, sine pi over 2, sine theta. And cosine, the signs change, C for change. So minus becomes plus. Remember cosine of pi over 2, 0. Sine of pi over 2 is 1. And so we end up with sine theta. Cosine of pi over 2 minus theta equals sine theta. So the cosine and sine addition formulas are really useful for proving identities.